The Tower of Confusion The first 11 chapters of Genesis, which tell the story of the human race as a whole, include four major historical events. The first great event, which explains who we are and where we came from, was creation. The fall was the second great event, and it explains why we are the way we are as we are and the reason for our fallen nature. The third event was the worldwide flood, which explains God's attitude towards sin and sinners. Because of God's attitude towards sin, the flood brought destruction and judgment. God's attitude towards sinners leads to the creation of an ark and the ability for all who enter the ark to be spared from judgment. The construction of the Tower of Babel is the fourth historical event. Humankind is attempting to organize and unite in rebellion against God in this passage. A Godless Culture's Ruler Names have special meanings in the Bible. Nimrod's name means let us rebel. Crush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth, Genesis 10.8 says. According to some, that sentence means he began to be a mighty tyrant in the earth. This is a presentation of human history's first world dictator. Nimrod was the first in a long line of those who sought to rule the earth. But God is in charge and will not allow this to happen. Nimrod's reputation and occupation are described in the following verse. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. However, Nimrod was a mighty hunter of people in opposition to the Lord. He went in search of people in order to enslave them. He was on the prowl for their souls. He intended to put them in servitude. This was why he desired to unite everyone into a single, powerful global empire. Nimrod was also a type, a representation of a future world ruler to come. According to the Bible, at the end of the age, a final world dictator will appear on this earth. Revelation 13, 6-9 then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. He is referred to as the man of sin, the son of perdition in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3 to 4. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. He will be the combination of all the worst characteristics of the world's dictators. He will be Nimrod all over again. 2. The Rebellion of a Godless Culture We've arrived at the story of the Tower of Babel, Genesis 11.1 1 says, The whole earth had one language and one speech. Genesis 11.1-4 1 
Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. The geographical notation in Genesis 11:2, they journeyed from the east, indicates that they turned their backs on the sun and moved away from the light toward the darkness. This is an act of defiance toward God. When you turn away from the Lord, you are turning away from the light and moving toward darkness and confusion in your life. Consider 11.4, where the people decided to build a tower, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. That decision to not allow themselves to be scattered was a direct defiance of God, who had commanded Noah's descendants to populate the earth. Genesis 9, 1 Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. They were basically saying, Let's stay here so we won't be scattered and spread apart. This is the essence of rebellion. Rebellion says, let's do it our way. In contrast, submission says, let's do it God's way. Their rebel plan began with, let us build ourselves a city. God's plan for his people was that they recognize that they were strangers and pilgrims. Hebrews 11, 13 to 16. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Their second act of rebellion was the construction of a tower. First, there is a city. This is political unity. Then, to achieve religious unity, a tower whose top is in the heavens. Romans 1, 25 puts it this way. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever? Amen. The Tower of Babel was an attempt to create a one-world religion based on creation rather than God. Third, they say, let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered. Genesis 11, 4. They planned on cultural unity. They desired to elevate themselves. That is at the heart of secularism and humanism. Our culture is in such disarray because we have become human-centered rather than God-centered. The ruin of a godless culture. But the Lord came down to see. Genesis 11, 5. Genesis 11, 5 to 9. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, if as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. 
So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. They made one small blunder in all of their preparations. They forgot to include God. When you leave God out, you are missing the most important ingredient. The Lord appears to inspect that little tower of consternation. In Genesis 11:7, God says, Let us go down. Notice the rebellious people had been saying, Let us, let us. Now the Trinity intervenes in human affairs. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit say, Let us go down and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. In this case, a common language is united in guilt, causing confusion. Acts 2 describes the day of Pentecost, when God gave people the ability to communicate the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ in foreign languages. Various languages were used to convey a common message of grace. Instead of confusion, it resulted in conversion. Acts 2 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues, as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Bible says in Romans 10.13, For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be saved by calling on Jesus Christ with your lips in any language.